to introduce myself. My name is Jim Rangel. I'm uh, Western Hemisphere Seismic Manager for Weatherford. I'm going to be talking today about unconventional resources, exploitation. I'm going to be talking about Petroleum Consulting as a group within Weatherford that actually pulls a lot of this data together. So my colleagues previously, you'll hear them tomorrow as well, they're going to be talking about tools. They're going to be talking about what those tools could do for drilling, for logging. This is uh, how we pull all this data together, right? One of the uh, Weatherford's strengths is actually understanding analysis. And in this analysis, we broke out what the, uh, what the cost of drilling is. The cost of drilling has changed today. It used to be in the 40, 50, 40, 60, the other way around, where drilling was a lot more expensive. Today, completion costs are a lot more expensive. Um, when you look at these things, you want to look at both sides, the 40 and 60 percent, say where is it we can save money, where is it we're, uh, we're missing the boat, not actually doing enough of our, uh, our own internal analysis. In conventional plays, one of the uh, subjects that was actually carried out pretty easily was the exploitation. People spent a lot more time on it. They wanted to understand before they actually went out and drilled quite a few wells. Today in the shale gas wells, people are starting to drill a lot sooner than uh, they probably should. And therefore, we're getting uh, a lot more uneconomic wells, or at least wells that are not producing as well as they should. That is uh, one of the recommendations that uh, Weatherford gives is for people to try to understand their uh, seismic, try to understand their core better, do enough analysis, don't over-analyze, but do enough analysis to guide you in the shell that you're, uh, that you're working. How do we do that? Well, you start off with your seismic. If you're in an area where you have a lot of structure, you want to make sure your site, your uh, velocity model is correct. Why? Because that helps guide the drilling uh, people to keep in zone, right? If we're trying to keep in zone here, and you notice you're out of zone 50 to 60 percent of the time, don't expect as good a well as you, uh, you would if you were in zone 100 percent of the time. How does that start? Understanding your velocity model in the basic. The second is, if you're drilling, understand the differences in your shale. Your shale is not one big shale rock. It's a bunch of sequences of shales, different, different, uh, uh, different stringers of shale that have different uh, content in them. That content can be the key to help guide you drill better wells and help frack, help understand where you want to frack. In this example, we're at a zone 80% of the time, and that's where petroleum consultants can help you with the analysis, doing core analysis here, doing uh, wireline analysis to understand the differences in your vertical so that you can carry that out and guide you in drilling in your horizontal, right? If we have areas where we have a lot more uranium, and we know that, it helps guide our, our drilling so we don't oversteer or understeer. How important is that? Very important. There's people that are saying 30, 40% of your production could be hurt due to this, what's called dolphining, right? So it's something to, to take uh, under consideration. Another thing we do at Weatherford is we can go out and do, at, at a point where you've understood where you want to land your well, uh, where you put your horizontal, and you're ready to frack, you can come in and frack and do micro seismic using offset well technology or same well technology. Weatherford's the only one that has a tool that goes in the same frack well. In this case, we have an offset well technology uh, micro seismic job. Why is that important? Well, you've made a lot of decisions up to that point. Maybe you've used your core, maybe we've helped you use your core, helped you use your logs to find the best zone to land your horizontal well. Now we've come out and uh, we've looked how the rock's changing in the horizontal, looked for the more friable zones. Now that you're fracking, we want to see how it's fracking, what, what your stimulated rock volumes are. We've got a completions engineer up front here. More importantly, if you're fracking into uh, uh, a fault, you want to know that. Why? Because as soon as you start fracking into that fault, you're most likely not fracking any new rock, wasting money. Let's shut the job down and move on and try to break away from that fault. As you can see in this case, almost every stage up to this point went back into the fault. So there was a point where they kept fracking in that fault, wasting money, wasting time. 
money and time that could make your well more economic, right? Now, Weatherford can do this real time and help you in the field understand if you're fracking into a fault or fracking into some kind of a large fracture like that. 